I'm Abby Dakota. I'm Ashley Hipner. I'm Bailey Peabody. I'm Mackenzie Kesters, and we're all freshmen from Council Plus A Lincoln. Inhale. Exhale. The sound of my breath should slow with each inhale and exhale. Ground yourself. Find five things you can see, four things you can hear, three things you can feel, two things you can smell, and one thing you can taste. Five. I see my hands sweating like they always do when I'm anxious. My legs shaking like the way my side mirrors on my car do when my music's too loud. The seams of my pants fraying away. Tears rolling off my face and falling onto my shirt, leaving little tear-shaped marks. The pain deep within my heart that no one else seems to notice. Four. I can hear the ticking of the clock in the back of my mind. My heavy breathing. My heartbeat within my stomach. Voices in my head screaming to be saved. Three, I can feel my heart being ripped into shreds and the fallen pieces collecting in my rib cage. Anxiety clawing behind my eyes. The hurtful words of the people who I thought loved me slashed through me like a warrior's sword. Two, I can smell the perfume I doused on to be just like those other girls. Unclean, unappreciated air filling my lungs. One, all, all I can taste is bitterness. Day in and day out. Who would I be without clammy hands and shaky legs? The constant meltdowns. Who am I? Without the heartbeat and anxiety creeping up my spine like a spider crawling to its prey caught in their web. Relax your body, close your eyes, and clear your mind. Your anxiety level should go down a bit. But they don't. I can't, I can't clear my head. head. I can't close my eyes without being afraid of what could be in front of me. I can't relax. Who's to say that this isn't normal? Maybe this is what I'm supposed to be like. Take the pills that your mom hands to you each night. Don't forget about our weekly appointments at 3 o'clock every Monday. These appointments. And the medication that forces happiness upon me are pointless. pointless. My doctor says that I'm sick. Shouldn't I be in a hospital? What if I'm tired of trying to get better? All these things aren't helping. What, what if I am so tired of screaming underwater? I don't want the bitter taste of salt water filling every inch of my lungs anymore. Who's to say that there's actually anything wrong with me anyway? Is it the stupid test you take in the doctor's office on Woodbury Avenue with those ridiculous orange plastic chairs in the waiting room? Maybe this is what I'm supposed to be. Who am I? If I didn't fight like hell to be happy, if I don't fight through the fear and thoughts to get through the day, I wouldn't be me. I've always fought for what I needed, what I wanted, and what I deserved. The struggle you go through today gives you the strength you need for tomorrow. So no, doctor number four, with your two degrees and PhD in child psychology. I am not broken. I am just a little chipped at the edges. I don't need a pill to dictate my happiness. Dr. Seuss said it best. Today you are youer than you. That is truer than true. There is no one alive who is youer than you. So hold on and keep fighting because you are you. Inhale, exhale.